Good morning. We are here in Ireland. It's Saturday and we are headed to Limerick. We're going to see the market, the castle, and check out some other awesome sites. And we're super excited. Let's go. We only have a few days left, less than a week in Ireland. It's sunny today, so I have my parasol. It's nice and cool though, it's about 60 degrees. It's not raining, it's been raining the last couple of days, so that will be nice for market day. Yeah, we just wanna check it out, see what they have, and go explore. Let's go. Of the market, it's pretty busy in there, <laughs> and it's very loud. Elaine found a Turkish coffee shop down here. First thing we had to do was get Elaine some coffee, which is an amazing place. The coffee maker was beautiful, apparently, they make it in sand. place with tons of different fresh patties of hamburger. There were several different cafe type shops with different warm drinks because it's getting chilly. The time of year is changing. Music. Yeah, singing. There are multiple places where they sell tools of any kind that you want. They have fruit, they have chocolate, they have bread and meat. This is one uh, nice sausage place that I, I know I want to go to. There was a place with lots of strawberries. They were small but really cute little strawberries. And There was tons of every kind, every kind of cheese that you would want. Cheese with stinging nettles in it, cheese with pesto in it. Just an amazing assortment of cheese. There was fish and they have a seating area up top that once you get your food you go up there and look over the whole market i want to go try the warm apple kombucha when i'm done with this i didn't we didn't dress appropriately everything you want packed in this small little market it's a great place here in limbrick all right so that's it for the market now we are headed to king john's castle it has a great assortment of things to do it has interactive and visual things to do can't wait to see it so let's go tickets online already 13 euro per person okay that was a lot of information it sounds like a lot of people have been battling over ireland for a really long time it's kind of confusing about how it even started like who even i'm more confused i think than i was before it's pretty interesting though the battles that they talk about are numerous over many years they just kept being rebellion after rebellion from King Henry VIII to Queen Elizabeth I. But it's very interactive. You can do a lot of different things in there. There's a lot of different displays to show you different ways that they did things. Like for instance, there's a tunneling feature. So they give you a huge stone to give you semblance of how much rock they were clearing a day and 
There were some little known facts sprinkled in with the obvious things that we know about Ireland versus England and that kind of stuff. So this is the actual castle wall of Limerick. This is the exterior. But as we go around, it looks like we go in and out. Part of the wall isn't here anymore as you go around the castle. It's pretty cool, it looks super old. Rest assured, Elaine is panicking. Oh, is that original wall? Oh wow, look how cool. So we're back in the castle walls now. A white smith worked in gold, silver, and tin, while blacksmiths worked in iron and steel. You never hear about the white smiths. So, a little bit about the castle. Parts of it were original, and parts of it were redone for it to be upkept. It has a beautiful view of the water way out there. You could tell how it would get really cold up there if you were on duty. Yeah, it was a great uh, experience. The courtyard was absolutely beautiful. I put my head in some stocks uh, yeah, to get did. a stock photo. <laughs> you had to go in each room to see how they lived back then from a masonry room. This is the masons area. to the constable's room and in each room there was a tv with an actor that told you how life was for them back then yeah what they did what their job was um, we also got to try out a couple of things we played horseshoes which was a medieval game who knew it was that old probably a lot of people not i i didn't know it was that old You don't have to use your left ear, not just joking. Oh, I'm I'm For what I know, if you don't get on it, <gasps> it's the closest one to it. I missed the shot. I was getting you talking. Holy well, God. he did it. That's Stevens. <laughs> and they had a bunch of things for all ages, I think. You could appreciate different things about uh, the history and the activities. Is it, take me to church? No, it's in Gaelic. Hopscotch might be Irish. We're gonna have to verify that, but they had a hopscotch as one of the castle games, so. So yeah, it was an absolute great time. You not only got to see the history, but you got to walk inside of it. And you have a smooth round point. Slits, but you can tell it's slanted, like you can feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. The garrisons number of available muskets during the siege was 66 so the whole castle only had 66 guns Ooh. okay during the siege young boys were lowered on ropes over the castle walls to set fire to rebel houses so wait the rebels had already had time to build houses for every soldier in the castle there were 40 rebels outside also they could see the ships in the water that were friendly and bringing them supplies, but they couldn't get to them because the rebel, the what you call it, forces were in between. Amazing castle. 
little tour. Lots to see, lots of cool things to do. We learned a lot of amazing and sad information. Now we are headed to go get an Irish or a Bailey's coffee. Let's go. So, Katie Bailey's is the oldest public house in Limerick, which is kind of cool. We ended up there a um, little bit by accident. I think it was established in 1789, but if not, we'll put the date here. <laughs> Irish coffees were delicious. Well, I had a Bailey's coffee. They were fantastic. My Irish coffee was absolutely, I even ate the coffee beans inside of it because it was just that good. Me too. So if you're ever in, uh, in Limerick, Katie Daly's is a good place to come and have an Irish coffee and watch some football <laughs> and uh, just enjoy the time here in Ireland. Irish coffee with Jameson, Bailey's coffee, it's in the name. Alright, let's go see more Limerick. This is St. Mary's Cathedral, the oldest building in Limerick. Behind me is St. John's Cathedral, which is said to be the tallest spire in all of Ireland. It's a great place to come if you're ever in Limerick. All right, well that's it for Limerick. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We absolutely love all the love we get online about the videos. Thank you guys for joining us on another adventure here in Ireland. From Limerick, I'm Stephen. And I'm Elaine. From King John's Castle, wishing you sturdy and eloquent adventures. Bye! Be free. Be free.